Hi there, everyone. Martin Tyler here with me today. I'm delighted to welcome Alan Smith. Well, hi there, Martin. Absolutely delighted to be here. The game here, Sandefjord against Mulder. And here it is, the starting 11 for the home side today. I think that back four is really important for them. They've got to be strong and solid, but they've got a bit of protection, haven't they? They have. They should have more than enough. I mean, they're all good defenders in their own rights, but uh, in front of them, they've got players who are going to be working really hard. Whether they could be a threat on the front foot, we'll wait and see. This is how the visitors shape up. 4-3-3. And they've got natural wide players in that front three with a central striker. I think that's the key because those lads on the flanks, it's quite a complicated job actually because they've got to come inside, support the centre forward and they've also got to funnel back when they haven't got the ball, so an onus on them. And the first half is underway here. That's the kickoff. Magnus Acre. Cross doesn't get past the first man. And they're looking good when they get the ball out wide, as they've done here. Now, this is an interesting attack. Pulls it back now. Doing well to keep the ball. Magnus Acre. Supporting player alongside. And here's the shot. Good block. He's got it away. It's gone out for a throw. He's cut that out well, well read. Getting the ball back and thinking attack straight away. Good interception. Well, the wide man can show his skills here. Blocked off the pass there. Magnus Acre. Threads it through. Now he can cross it. Cutting in now. Working the ball around, working the opposition around. Well, here comes the support. Shot on! The defenders managed to get in the way there. It's 
unlike him really to play the ball straight to the opposition played forward a bit of menace in this attack whipped in from the wide area and they get it away and shoots that's a good block and it takes a nick off the player out for a throw good work really to read the intention of the pass Well, how defensive have they become at the moment? Just sitting in their own half and letting the opposition pass the ball around in front of them. Maybe they feel they're not going to be hurt. Oh, he spotted the pass and cut it out. Good vision here. It could be a chance. Oh, it's a great goal. Great time to score, right on the half-time whistle. And that will make the opposition think they were cruising a little bit there. Well, it's a goal worth replaying over and over again, isn't it? And that has opened the scoring, 1-0 here. Well, the referee has signalled for half-time, and it's 1-0 here. So here we go with the second half. And that's good support as they build this attack. Trying to find an opening, not panicking. Maybe he'll cross it here. Well, the player that we're featuring here has done well. He's certainly been an influence on this first half. Oh, it's good first-half performance from him. And not just with the late goal, which was really important to get his team in. In with a chance. He's had a real go. It's a decent effort, that, with plenty of sting in it. Yeah, not far away. He really did visit, didn't he? Out of play for a throw. That's good movement forward here. Space to cross the ball now. You can see what he was trying to do with the cross, but it's a goal kick. Well, here is that earlier incident, Alan. So close. Well, I'm guessing that he's not going to try that again in a hurry, particularly after his manager gets into him after this match. We've had an hour gone here, and still 30 minutes left. Substitute coming up for the away team. Magnus Ekram. I think he saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. He's got his shot off now. It's gone for a corner.
In goes the corner. Shots on here. Another corner. Substitution coming up. As they look to make sure they hold their lead till the final whistle. Put the corner in the middle. Cleared away, well away from goal. The shot's on! Kept his concentration, the goalkeeper, and because of that, kept hold of the ball. Yeah, he seems to fill the goal, this lad. He's quite an imposing keeper. Just a quick check on the clock, and there are 20 minutes to go. I see a substitute coming on for the away team here. Magnus Acre. And they've spread it out wide here. Well, that's good support play from his teammates. And there's the interception. Delivered into the box. And the goalkeeper with a textbook save and keeps the ball in his grasp. Threading it through. Played in the clear. It must be. Close, difficult angle. Maybe did well to get that close. I well, surprised he actually went for goal there, but uh, in the end, got the keeper a bit worried. Well, the game can be influenced so often by substitutes. The home team are going to perhaps gamble on that working for them now. Working hard just to see maybe a sight of goal. The game being played in one half of the pitch at the moment. The team with possession finding it hard, though, to get into areas where they're going to score a goal. Can they hang on to this one-goal lead? The fans are trying to play their part in it happening. Yeah, and it's the approach that the home team take that will be important. Do you go on and push for another or just try and hold what you have? Still trying to get forward here. Still trying to get the goal that can help them to some sort of salvation in this match. The two oohs around the crowd for a three-minute add-on, which is what we're going to get for added time. Intercepted well. That is the final whistle. Well, given their status in the match, Alan, clearly underdogs, they'll be pretty happy with the way they played. I think so, yeah. They can take a lot from this performance moving forward. Might not have got the result they wanted, but they did well. Well, he's had a very good game, hasn't he? Well, he gave those defenders a torrid time out there. Got the goal, the all-important one, and had loads of chances.